Hi, this is Pastor Kevin on friendship and acceptance. There's a predominant idea, predominantly coming from the leftists in our day and age, that if you have an opposing view, you can't be friends. You can't discuss certain issues such as religion or politics or even social issues. But that couldn't be further from the truth. As Christians, God has called us to be light throughout the whole world. And so that means sometimes having conversations and friendships with people who are a little bit harder to get along with and have differing views. This is about acceptance of a person, not necessarily acceptance of an ideology or even acceptance of sin, but acceptance of a person. And this is the true idea of tolerance. Those on the left say that tolerance is, well, you have to accept me as I am, as I think, and as I believe, but that's not the truth. We can accept a person, but not necessarily their ideologies or their beliefs. For us as Christians, it's important for us to remember that. There's even some Christians who have said sometimes that, oh, we can't have, we can't be a friend of the world. And they mean that to mean that we can't French, have friendships with those who are not Christians. And that can be further from the truth too. Because God says, yes, to be in the world, but not of it. But that doesn't mean that we can't have friendships with those who are lost. In fact, we're supposed to reach the lost. And whatever it takes, like Paul says, to use all things to all people so that he might win some. The same is true for the rest of us as Christians, that we must love those who are lost by willing to have a friendship and conversation with them, even with difficult conversations and difficult situations. So we as Christians can have friendships with those who are lost, but yes, we can't have a true deep fellowship with them because they aren't Christians, but we can still have friendship with them so they can see Christ in us so they can see that the gospel does make a difference in their lives. That will help them want to find out who Christ is and find out the gift of salvation that Jesus has for them from sin. Also, God's Word tells us that as far as it concerns us, we're to live at peace with all men and women. But that peace doesn't mean that we can't have those difficult conversations, but it's a matter of how we go about those conversations. God's Word tells us that we are to have conversations with people, but to do it with gentleness and respect, That's especially in the context of sharing the gospel. But it doesn't really matter what topic we talk about with a person. We must be willing to have those conversations, but with love. If we disagree with them, we're to treat them with kindness and gentleness and with love and respect still. Yes, sometimes it gets a little intense, but we must treat the person with love and respect. Do our best to speak with kindness and with gentleness so we don't cause problems between us and the other person. Yes, even in the church, sometimes we have differing views. And even with that, we must treat each other with love and respect too. It is the Christian way. It is Christian maturity to show that we can have conversations, even when we disagree, but doing it with gentleness and respect. And part of that too is, maybe we're wrong with our opinion of what God's word says. Again, opinions don't matter when it comes to truth but we must seek what the truth is and believe it and apply it to our lives. So if we're wrong, maybe the person can correct us. Or if they're wrong, maybe we can correct them. Or if we're both wrong, maybe we can work through to find the answer together. That is to be done with gentleness and respect, showing love for the person and care for the person, even when we differ with opinion. That shows acceptance. That shows that you love a person. That shows that you're tolerant of the person. That leads to good friendship, a friendship that can impact a person for Jesus Christ. This is Pastor Kevin on friendship and acceptance.